We've just done six and a half hours flying time. We've got 57 horses, total of 23 stalls. 26 colts, 31 fillies. We're pushing these pallets back. There's three horses in each one. They go on the high load. They come downstairs. The horses are still in there, of course. We move these dollies along, and that one goes on the next one, then the next one, and they're transported across to all the border inspection posts. Now they come out of this stall, today we present them to the vet, they will check the passports. Julian's just going to microchip them now, and that's just checks it against their passport number. Because each horse has got a passport, and that's checked against its name, its health certificate. Uh, Sam just checking the names, he checks them on the list to make sure they coincide with going on the correct lorry, which heads off to the right stable. Well, that's the last of the 57 going on, and we head off to Newmarket there in about 45 minutes. So the American Unions have just arrived at Hamilton Hill. Who have you got there, Ali? B Fabulous. B Fabulous is Gainsborough One. So our main priority here right now is just to get them into their boxes as quickly as possible so that they can lie down and relax and get over the long journey they've had. This will be their home probably for about the next two months. They haven't actually been allocated trainers yet, so as soon as a trainer is allocated to the horse, um, we'll then be in touch with the trainer and talk to them about when they want them into their yard. Young horses, they're like primary school kids. They have snotty noses and coughs. You don't really want a young yearling going into a racing yard when you've still got horses racing on the flat. Most trainers will wait until sort of the beginning of November to start getting their yearlings in. By that stage, these guys will all be ridden away and cantering and perfectly ready for the training environment. 